Hello everyone, today I'm here to do a book review and today I'll be talking about Geekerella by Ashley Poston. Before I begin, I just want to talk about my shirt. You can probably just see it, it says full time. Full time what, you may be wondering. Actually Books and Ballard sent me this shirt and it says, let me stand up for it. So yeah, it says full time bookworm on it. If you can see, it is adorable. They said they sent this to me. I highly recommend check out their shop. They have all these cute t-shirts and tote bags and things like that. They have a lot of bookish shirts where it talks about, I have another one called Coffee and Books or Books Equal Bedtime. Um, there's one they talk about wine in books. I would get that, but I'm not a fan of wine. Um, there's a whole plethora of shirts and things like that, so I'll leave their link down below if you want to check them out for any bookish t-shirts. I always love bookish t-shirts, like so give them all to me. <laughs> also, I have a coupon code for you if you're interested in getting your very own full-time bookworm. I feel so awkward right now. Use the code HeatherBB for 10% off of your first order. So that is always awesome. So thank you so much to Books and Ballard for sending me this shirt. This video is not sponsored by any means. I just want to talk about the cool shirts because I'm always looking for good t-shirts. Like, I live in t-shirts, let's be real here. Always. <laughs> Back to the book I want to talk about is Geekerella by Ashley Poston. If you can't already tell, this is a nod to Cinderella with fangirl status. <sighs> I love this book. I read it last month and I just fell in love with it. I wasn't expecting to love it as much as I did. I was just looking for, I just thought it was gonna be like a cute contemporary, but it was so cute, so adorable. I just loved it so very much. One of my favorite contemporaries of all time, if I'm honest with you. Like I said, this is kind of a spin on Cinderella. So we follow Elle. Elle has lost both her mother and her dad. So she lives with her evil stepmother and her evil stepsisters. And she works at the Magic Pumpkin, which is a vegan like pumpkin food truck which is a nod to like obviously like the pumpkin carriage and she works with a co-worker named Sage and her and Sage don't really get along as well at first in this book but throughout they become really best friends and Sage is almost like her fairy godmother if you will it's adorable it's just, ugh, there's so many like knots Cinderella through this book so Elle is like I said living with her stepmother and her stepsisters and she's trying to get out of there she's really not enjoying everything there so she realizes that there, there is this cosplay contest at a Celsius con which her dad actually founded in the fandom Starfield. So her dad and her have always loved Starfield for all of her dad's life and continuation through hers. It's this beloved TV show. I mean, it kind of reminds me of almost like a Star Wars and Star Trek got together. You know, just, I mean, it, you take really indie fandom and make it Starfield throughout this book, but it was just so adorable. But she loves Starfield and Starfield is finally getting a reboot. They're making a movie out of it. And Elle blogs about Starfield on her very little known blogs. She just keeps blogging about it. And then one day she decides to watch the Good Morning America announcement of the casting of our lead actors in the Starfield reboot. And one of the, the lead actors that plays the coveted role of Prince Carmander is actually awarded to actor Darren Freeman, who Elle is not a fan of. She thinks he's a horrible actor. She feels like he would do a horrible job at Carmander. So she blogs about it. Her blog goes viral. Darren, the actor, even sees it. It's going on. Meanwhile, like I said, she's trying to go to enter this cosplay contest because if she wins, she can get money and find like get out of her stepmother's house. Meanwhile, we have Darren, the actor of that's playing the lead role of Carmander. He's very skeptical to play this role because he knows it is a very beloved role and he's actually a Starfield fan himself, but he knows it's very tedious because you have all these fangirls and all these people that love this fandom so much. He doesn't want to screw it up. Darren is actually also going to Celsius Con. Very reluctantly, you'll learn more about that in the book, but he is starting to text the manager who he thinks is the manager of a Celsius Con asking questions but little does he know he is texting L. L's number accidentally is still listed as a manager I guess because of her, it was her dad's phone who started at Celsiacon. So like I said they start talking and they quickly like fall into like and they don't know they're talking to each other they just are talking you know randomly and things like that. You can kind of imagine what happens from there especially with the Cinderella vibes. Overall, this book was just so adorable. I really loved Elle. I felt like she was the perfect Cinderella. She was such a good-hearted person that wanted to always do the right thing and do the nice thing, and she steadily gets, you know, knocked down upon like Cinderella. And there's just so many no's to Cinderella in this book, like the magic pumpkin where she works, the co-workers like her fairy godmother, the dog reminds me of like the um, Gus, I think, the mouse, I want to say. <laughs> there's just so many cute, cute elements that really relate to Cinderella, obviously. And also, I love they, how much they talk about fangirl and they talk about a cosplaying contest and a convention, things like that. I know that I... 
don't know if I'd call myself a fangirl, but I'm definitely a fangirl of certain aspects like Buffy and Gilmore Girls and books and Harry Potter. There's a lot of things that I love and shares that I'm definitely probably a fangirl over. So I love that they talked about that and how much they really, all these people cherish the Starfield show and how it brought them together because I feel like that is with all kind of fandoms. Like you all share a common interest in this one particular thing and no matter what, it just brings you together. It's just so beautiful and so nice. So this book, like I said, it's just plain freaking adorable. <laughs> <laughs> so I highly recommend it. If you're looking, if you're having a bad day and you're like, I need something light and I need something to pick me up, this is the perfect book for you. This book made me smile several times. It made me laugh several times. It made me go all several times. It was just adorable. I Like I said, my favorite aspect was how they mixed Cinderella with like a fandom status. It was, I just loved it. I just really want to talk about this book because I don't, I know that Booksplosion is reading it this month, but I definitely want to get this book more out there because it's just so adorable not to be read. Like, I, you guys know I love contemporary. It takes a lot for a contemporary to really wow me. This one did. I just loved how cute and how awesome it was. The cover is gorgeous. Even on the inside, you're getting like a little thing into like the Acelsia Khan. Even that is the Starfield logo from the coveted show. On the back, there's Darren right there. See, they're texting each other, so that's L. She's texting Darren, and Darren's texting Elle. Isn't that adorable? It's just, it's so cute. I love the whole aspect of this book, and then you have text in it as well. So overall, I gave this book a four and a half out of five. The more I think about it, it's getting closer up to five because I just enjoyed it that much, and I think about it still, and it's been a week since I've read this, so I, I just loved it. It makes my fangirl heart so <laughs> happy. So if you have read this book, please let me know down in the comments. Did you love it as much as I did or not? Or yeah, let me know what you thought about it. You read this book and pick it up because it was just so adorable. So adorable. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. I make bookish videos three times a week, so be sure to subscribe to see more bookish content. I will see you in my next video. Bye. I'll always love you and make you